The relative strength index is a technical indicator that is used to predict the uh, price of an asset based on momentum. Now, the first step in calculating this in uh, Python is reading in our uh, data set and formatting it into a pandas data frame. This is done using the uh, Tingo API here. Uh, here I am um, getting the uh, one, one hour data of Bitcoin uh, starting at January 1st of this year. Once that is formatted into our pandas data frame, I uh, set the uh, the uh, period to to fourteen. This is the number of bars that we are looking back when calculating our RSI. Uh, this is also this will also be known as the number of hours that we are looking back in this case, since each bar will be one hour. After that, we need to calculate the uh, up and down moves. Uh, the up and down moves is a uh, filter for all the uh, positive changes in the uh, price. And the uh, down moves it would be a fi filter for all the uh, negative changes in the price. This is just a better way of seeing the uh, change in price over time. So the way this, to uh, calculate this is by first taking our... Uh, our uh, closing price of our data frame and the closing price of the previous day. We then subtract those two prices and we get the change in closing price of our asset. Once that is done, we use the NumPy sign function to see if the price is above or below zero. Uh, so if our change in price is say uh, 2.3, then this, this will spit out a one. And if the change in price it would be a negative 3.5, then our uh, change in price will be a negative one. Here we are filtering out our uh, change in closing price uh, using our NumPy where function. Uh, what this will do is Say if our change in price is above zero, then we will uh, put we, we we will add our uh, positive change in price to the up moves column. But if that change in price is below zero, we'll just add zero. This is done the same way here for uh, down moves, except if the change in price is below zero. Once that is done, we need to calculate the uh, average advances and declines or the 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 average down and up moves so the way this is done is by taking our uh, period of 14 and we take a moving average so so here we have our uh, 14 day or 14 hour moving average of our down moves column we're storing that in this variable here we're also doing the same here as well with our up moves. After storing those values in our pandas data frame, we then calculate our relative strength. This is calculated by dividing our um, the the average of the up moves by the average of our down moves, uh, and this will spit out our relative strength. Probably the uh, biggest takeaway for our relative strength is that if it is above one, that usually means that the price is going to be going up. And if it is uh, below one, then that means that the price is uh, going down. You can usually tell because uh, say if, if the average, um, if the average uptrend is greater than the average downtrend, this will usually be a positive number or a, uh, a a number above one. And say if the average downtrend was above the average uptrend, then this would obviously be uh, below one, right? So uh, here we calculate the relative strength index. What this does is it kind of magnifies the relative strength and it kind of plots it out on a chart that is easier to see. 
So here we, we add 1 to our relative strength. And then we take 100 and we divide uh, by that sum. Once that is done, we take 100 and we subtract from that, uh, that uh, total value and we get our relative strength index. After dropping all the NAND values, we, uh, we set our upper and, and, and lower bounds of our RSI. This is, this is just an example for how the RSI will be used. Uh, say, say, for example, if the relative strength index is above our upper bound of 70, that's usually when we would sell. And if it is below uh, 30, that is usually when we would buy. After that, we calculate our log, log returns and store the uh, new processed uh, Bitcoin uh, data file or a CSV file in our new f in our folder and then we plot out the closing price with the relative strength index so let's run the script as you can see here we have our uh, closing price on the top and our RSI on the bottom so let's zoom in on this, uh, this little peak and dip here uh, towards the end. You can kind of line them up here. So as you can see, our uh, price um, begins to uh, start shooting up. Uh, and our, our RSI indicator also shoots up above uh, 70. This is uh, usually a, a good time for it to uh, sell. And as it begins to uh, to a drop, it also falls below our uh, 30 mark. So this would be a good time for it to uh, buy. And then you would just hold that until uh, it reaches o over 70. Uh, once again, this is when you would sell and you would exit the, the uh, position. So as you can see, uh, it's not perfect. Um, it, it does de de detect these uh, these uh, spikes here. It's, it's, it's kind of over uh, um, over exaggerated. And it also seems to de detect these uh, spikes here. So it's not perfect, but uh, it does seem to be doing its, its uh, job. Um, as long as we have our upper and, and lower bounds of uh, 70, we will uh, we will most likely buy and sell at the right times. Um, that that being said, this isn't financial advice. This is uh, just an, a, a tutorial for calculating the the RSI indicator in Python. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.